Oh, Black Friday, you did not take my money. Alas, I have decided to save it this year. Until Cyber Monday. So I can be lazy and shop from my lazy boy in my underwear with a sweet tea and the sweet satisfaction to know that I have won at life. Or at least that's what I'm going to tell myself when all my shopping is delivered to me. That will keep me from having to stand out in the cold at 3 a.m. And by the way, Black Friday? Really? Black Friday? Why's it gotta be Black Friday? Why can't it be White Friday? And the answer to that, of course, is because that would be stupid. Not to mention a complete misunderstanding of the way the word black is being used in that context. But this is the kind of reactionary thinking that we saw used at the University of Illinois just this past week. According to an article on MSNBC, some students at the University of Illinois decided to respond to the Black Lives Matter movement by starting a Facebook group called, are you ready for this? Illini White Student Union. Yes, I'm serious. And yes, the site was taken down. The article reports that the page was started against, quote, the terrorism we have been facing from Black Lives Matter activists on campus. Terrorists? Really? Are you familiar with the term hyperbole? The University of Illinois responded, unsurprisingly, by calling the page disturbing. Um, agreed. And why do I agree? Because of the entire mentality behind it. And I'm not talking about racism. Are there racial issues in this country? Yes. Racism is alive and well in this country and every other country. And to deny that, at best, means you're just not looking hard enough. But are there also those of minority races who are using movements like this for personal gain? Yep. And to deny that, again, you're not really looking. The issue here is the escalation mentality. These students believed that by putting up a page like this, they were going to somehow solve what they saw as an abuse. But it won't. All it does is push people further away and it results in them escalating things. Which means that when they escalate, the other side has to escalate. And then when they escalate, this side has to escalate. And, well, you get the point. In the Sermon on the Mount in Matthew 5, Jesus says, You have heard that it was said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth. But I say to you, do not resist the one who is evil. But if anyone slaps you on the right cheek, turn to him the other also. And if anyone would sue you and take your tunic, let him have your cloak as well. Here Jesus is responding to what we know as the escalation laws. These laws, given in Exodus 21, were designed to prevent issues from getting out of hand between two people, as they were prone to do. And so this is a perfect context to use this passage the way that it was meant to be used. Creating a site like this, or in anger, escalating things, it never solves the problem. All it ends up doing is further dividing people. Instead, we should seek reconciliation, understanding, talk to people. You know, it's that thing you do when you put your phone down long enough to look at someone in the eyes. Try using grace and communication rather than anger and childish behavior. Why don't you try, oh, I don't know, loving your neighbor as yourself or treat others as you want to be treated. So what are some productive ways that we can seek reconciliation in areas of racial tension? And what positive ways can we use social media to enhance love and communication? Let us know in the comments down below or by using Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram using the hashtag ForthrightTV. I'm Anthony Creeden, and I'm just trying to be forthright. Yeah, man, I gotta get ready. Cyber Monday's coming. It's gonna be awesome. Probably get my uh, workout in. Get ready. Do a little prep work, you know? A little, little clicking. A little clicking here, clicking here. Buy that, take that. That's for grandma. That's for mom, right? That's for dad. Oh yeah. Kids. Oh yeah. Lots, lots of clicking. Lots of clicking. Lots of money. Should you get video of that? No, we shouldn't. No one wants to see that.